Now we're going to talk about the transmission alarms. And before I talk, I brought the alarms in general, which are repeated on any vendor, not the alarms on a specific vendor. But I brought the problems that happen on any transmission type, uh, despite the manufacturer. Now, the second thing is that these alarms are um, collected on something that we call the alarm log. So it's called alarm log. And it's like a uh, sheet that we download or we get it uh, when we access through the alarm log. But it's, again, it's the alarms that are collected in the indoor unit of the mic microwave. And um, what's logged in it is the alarm type and what time it came and when was it cleared and it came on which part exactly on the, in the microwave. This is all because the microwave may have a problem for a period of time. But when you go and check these problems, you find everything cleared for no reason. But I just want you to know that, uh, or I want you to know what problem caused uh, the problem or the fluctuation, and then it was cleared. So I have to access this microwave by using uh, my laptop, all right? And um, I have to access the uh, indoor unit uh, by the uh, control card or the management card that we talked about. And then I take or download the alarm log from it so I can see all the alarms uh, with its times and everything as well. Now, the second thing that you need to know is that there are alarms that depend or accumulate on each other. Like for example, if rain happens, um, so the microwave is working, but not with full capacity. And let's say the rain like increased a lot or uh, it happened a lot. So it blocked the site between the uh, two microwaves. So it caused another alarm. So you need to understand and know that there are other alarms or some alarms that accumulate or appear together all at once. Now let's talk about the uh, first alarm. Uh, which is the uh, line of sight alarm. Um, we said that uh, both the two microwaves or the two audios uh, or outdoor units must be seeing each other clearly. And if let's say, for example, a uh, building was here, all right? So we see they have to see each other clearly. So let's say there is a building and uh, say it went up to one or two levels or stories. Um, so then it blocked the line of sight. Uh, so for example, again, also if there was a tree, for example, all right, and it grew and it still blocked the line of sight. Of course, trees don't cause that much problems, but I'm just saying if sometimes it happens. Now, this line of sight uh, could be due to, let's say, fading as well all right, or from fog or rain. So the whole story is that the two, these two microwaves cannot see each other. Uh, let's say due to fog, you rain, whatever, uh, the circumstance that we mentioned. Um, again, due to something that appeared in the middle between them. The only solution is for me to wait until, let's say, for example, this rain or fog clears up, all right, and you'll find then the microwave working uh, efficiently up and running again. But let's say that this building over here uh, happened um, and it went a floor or two, as we mentioned before. Uh, I actually won't uh, wait for the building to be demolished, for example, all right? But I tried to build a third site, as you guys can see here, for example, all right? Um, and I try to connect these sites together, all right? So there's a, there's a third site that I built. Um, and here I do something called the reroute, reroute or swapping of the site. So I can connect them and um, evade the building or the tree uh, that appeared and blocked my way as well. 